question number 58 we have two kind of matrices symmetric and skew symmetric x is given as skew symmetric matrix this means x transpose is minus x and y transpose is also minus y whereas z is a symmetric matrix now for option a we'll assume it as p matrix it is y q z power 4 minus z power 4 y q take the transpose so it is y q z power 4 we can distribute it directly transpose will be distributed to both the matrices and transpose of this can be written as z power 4 transpose of z power 4 transpose of y q minus transpose of y q into transpose of z power 4 now this will remain as z power 4 because it is symmetric matrix it is skew symmetric therefore a negative sign will be here similarly it will become y cube z power 4 we can see this is minus time of this matrix p or the same this is the same one and this is also same so we can say p transpose is p so it is a symmetric matrix and we are looking for skew symmetric so this is not the right option now the option b and the Bombay option is having two matrices, both are of even power. And we know that if X or Y, whether they are symmetric or skew symmetric, if their powers are even, then their transpose will give us the same kind of matrix. So B option is an um, option of symmetric matrix, whereas the D1 is a skew symmetric matrix because the power of X and Y both are odd. X and Y both are skew symmetric matrices, therefore the D1 will be a skew symmetric matrix so d is right and for c we will follow the similar procedure we will have we will say that p is equals to x power 4 z cube minus z cube x power 4 and we will take the transpose this gives us z cube x power 4 now z is symmetric this is skew symmetric but even power therefore there is no change similarly here it will become x power 4 z q we can see it is minus p it means it's q symmetric so c and d both are correct options 59 problem as the column a part the magnitude of projection of the vector we will take the projection of this vector alpha i cap plus beta j cap over root 3 i cap plus j cap this is the dot product with its unit factor and this is given as as root 3 but it is the magnitude which is root 3 that's why this is the relation we'll solve it alpha root 3 plus beta is equals to plus minus 2 root 3 and more relation is given we'll use it alpha root 3 plus beta and beta is alpha minus 2 upon root 3 equals to plus minus 2 root 3 we will solve both the signs positive and negative and we will get the possible values of alpha the values of alpha comes to be 2 and minus 1 so the modulus will be 1 or 2 and there are two choices p and q so for a part the correct match is p and q for b part of the mass column this there is a function which is given as differentiable so it will be continuous also we will take the left hand and right hand limit at 1 the left hand limit is minus 3a minus 2 and right hand limit is b plus a square now lsd and rsd the left hand derivative will be minus 6a and the right hand derivative will be b we will solve these two equations we will eliminate b and get a quadratic in a which is a square minus 3a plus 2 equals to 0 gives us a as 1 and 2 so the correct choices are p and q for the b part for the c part it is an interesting arrangement we have seen this kind of arrangement in our sheets and literature this can be written as 3 minus minus 3 plus 2 omega plus 3 omega square 
raised to the power 4n plus 3. This is the last term. I am writing the last term in the first and modifying the first term in terms of the last term. How I am going to do is, I will say if I multiply this term by omega, it will become the first term, base of the first term, minus 3 omega, 2 omega square and 3. And I will say I have written the first term in terms of the last term because this factor is for the last term. In the similar way, I will use the second one. It can be written as minus 3 plus 2 omega plus 3 omega square multiplied by omega square raised to the power 4n plus 3. Now you can see it is minus 3 omega square. This is 2 and then 3 omega and the last term as it is minus 3 plus 2 omega plus 3 omega square. So this trick made this problem very simple. I will take it common minus 3 plus 2 omega plus 3 omega square raised to the power 4n plus 3. What I will have is omega power 4n plus 3 plus omega power 8n plus 6 plus 1 equals to 0. This expression can be written as we know omega cube is 1. So it will be only omega power n. This is omega power 2n plus 1 and we know this expression is always 0 whenever n is not a multiple of 3. So correct options will be P, Q, S and T. P, Q, S and T. Entries will be the correct entries for it. Now the D part, last part of this mess the column. It is a very routine kind of problem. The harmonic mean of A and B which we used to write as 2AB upon A plus B is given as, as 4 and 5, 4 more terms are in arithmetic progression which gives us a relation 5 minus A twice of 5 minus A is equal to Q, B minus 5. These are two relations. I will replace the value of B from here in this relation. I will have a quadratic in A and that quadratic will give me the values of A. The values of A comes to be 5 by 2 and 6. I already solved it for you. Now they are asking us Q minus A which is in fact the double of common difference of this arithmetic progression. So it is 5 minus A multiplied by 2. We will put the value and get the answer. By 5 by 2 it will be 5 and by 6 it will be 2. So 2 and 5. So Q and T will be the right options. Q and T. That's it.